Okay, episode number six, break 75. I'm at a golf course today. I've been to many times before, but never played it. It hosted the 2010 Ryder Cup. This is Celtic Manor in South Wales. I actually watched the Ryder Cup here back in 2010, which Europe actually won with the Graham McDowell putt on the 16th hole. I feel a bit more chilled today. I felt like JCB last week caught me by surprise. I feel like my game is hopefully in better shape and I'm ready to go out and break 75. Also, playing with someone today who's a very, very good player, Jack Davidson. He actually plays on EuroPro. So, I've got a bit of a pace setter today. Let's hope it goes better. Let's hope we can break 75. Down here, Celtic Manor, 2010 course. Let's go. I'm excited about this one. This is Jack. Jack currently plays on EuroPro. In today's conditions, because I think people watching need to know how hard it is going to be today. You as a fantastic player, what are you expecting to shoot today? What's your goal? Uh, in weather like this, I think the level par is a pretty good score around here okay. today, just because of the weather. But What's your predictions for, for me? Um, <laughs> what do you think I'm going to uh, shoot around here today? Uh, under 75. Under 75, that's what we like to hear. I'm excited about this. Play well, buddy. Yeah, enjoy. Play well. If I can stay anywhere close to him, I'll be over the moon. 11 years ago, grandstands all around this first tee. Why do I feel as nervous as those guys on the Ryder Cup tee? <laughs> there it is. Okay, so we're off and away. This golf course off the tees we're playing off today, which pretty much the backs, it's just over 7,000 yards and it's a par 71. So I need to start strong, get going this time and let's hope we can smash 75. Great shot. Oh. Really well, I want to hit it, but it's still safe. Just trying to judge the wind. It's definitely more windier than I can maybe expect it to be. These are little shots that I think I'm going to encounter a lot of today. I've not missed target by a lot, but it's ran right down into the little valley. I'd love to flop, get a little 60 degree out, and just like flop it up there with a bit of caress, bit of bit of flair. Not yet. I'm going with putter. <laughs> Point 163, I've got it as. Break, break, break. Not bad. <laughs> Not pretty, but it'll do. Is that really good? That looked really good. So, second shot into the fourth hole. I've hit four iron for 197 yards. It looked all over it. Now, we can't see it on the green. So that means one of two things. It's gone big or it's gone in for an eagle. Can't see it yet. Or is that me and your, oh, it's big. It's massive. <laughs> there was me getting all excited just to be very, very disappointed. Whoa, Rick. That sounded pure. I've not got it past Jack Threewood with my driver. <laughs> oh, that's massive, is it not? Oh, I didn't feel like this was far away. Yeah, it is. Hit the wrong club there. Rick. Racking up those bogeys. <laughs> oh, I don't feel like I've done a great deal wrong, but 
Can't seem to make any pars. So after a good tee shot down the fairway, which I've hit quite a lot of fairways actually, and I need to start eating greens. Uh, into and off the left, 155 yards. Wind, wind, wind. Winded a little bit, not quite enough. It's okay, we're putting on the green as well. <laughs> um, wasn't expecting this. <laughs> Out of nowhere. It suddenly just started hailstoning. <laughs> look at this, come on, look at this. Look at the green. <laughs> Just didn't feel that smooth across the green then, did it? Just those little uh, hailstones definitely had it bumping around. Sit, 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 sit. That's okay. That is okay. I just didn't get the pace. I didn't get the line. Just need, I feel like I just need one to drop. I feel like I'm giving myself a few more chances these last few holes. I'm settling the nerves. The excitement's just dropped a fraction. Now it's game time. I need to make a birdie. Give me strength. That was a good putt as well, that, that was a good putt. Simmer, simmer. Okay, nine holes done. Scrappy, two bogeys and a double. Puts me at four over par front nine. A um, few little silly mistakes, I'd say. But by that, I'm hitting it great off the tee, I must admit. Um, not as long as Jack. Jack's hitting it really, really good off the tee. How, in contrast, how, what score are you uh, now? One over, eight pars and a bogey. So I'm three back. Come on, back nine. Is the back nine easier or harder than the front? A little easier, but a few more opportunities on the back nine. A few more opportunities. Let's go. Back nine, need to shoot one under. Oh, yeah. Nice. Here we go. Back nine charge. Okay, first proper birdie opportunity this round. Little slippery one, left to right. I, th I think it's time. Oh, man, didn't even give it a chance. Didn't even give it a chance. I promise you, I'm going to get a birdie soon. I promise you. You watch him, you're going to see some birdies. Hopefully. 11th hole, par five. I've hit another really nice tee shot. I've hit a lot of fairways today. Let's hope that continues. I'm 328 yards to the flag, everybody. So I think I'm going to lay up. Good roll, break, break, break. You absolute idiot. <laughs> absolute idiot. Oh, Rick. 
How many times can I make a bogey from a birdie? Sorry, everybody. I'm, I'm trying. I'm really, really bloody trying. <laughs> oh, God, that's annoying. That is a stunning looking hole. The Ryder Cup in 2010, this is the hole where Tiger Woods famously pitched it past the pin, spun it back in for Eagle to win the hole. I just want a birdie today. I don't want anything more, just a nice birdie. And simmer down. <sighs> Absolute. I was just like trying to assess the difference between you and me. Like, you're longer than me off the tee, definitely, comfortably actually. But like, you're not playing your greatest golf today. No. But you're making pars. Are you like being more patient? I feel like I'm trying to get something to happen. Yeah, I feel like, especially from distance, like these putts aren't birdie putts, you know, even though we're putting for birdie, they're probably good two putts. So don't, tip to me is don't maybe go for the birdie putts as aggressively. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta come down. Oh yeah, that's lovely. That's the best golf in his career. That. <laughs> <laughs> that <alone>. Sorry, <laughs> that went different in my head. <laughs> For sake, go in the hole. That was a good port, I was just trying to knock it close. I've hit my driver ridiculously good today. Like, not long, but outrageously straight. <laughs> Are these holes regulation size? I'm I'm not sure today. Are these holes regulation size? I'm I'm not sure today. Golf, eh? <sighs> Feel like. This back nine, I've hit it really nicely. Like, tee off, tee offs, iron shots, putted, absolutely atrocious, atrociously. So frustrating. So we're here now on the famous 15th hole, drivable par four. It's a dog leg, really, if you played it the traditional way, but there's a gap in the trees, you can go straight for the green. And Jack saying it's around about 270 to the flag from here. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we make a bloody bird it. This is the, the most legit chance of a birdie all day. You're joking me! Oh my goodness me! Have no words. I have no words. So Jack wasn't joking when he said this uh, This next three holes is probably the hardest. I've hit, not my best tee shot granted, but I'm in the fairway, par four. I'm 230 yards left into the green, into wind. I've not done this for a long time, everybody. I've not hit a three wood into a par four for a long, long time. Be good, be really good. Sit. It's worryingly that I can hit it closer to the flag with a three wood in my hand than I can a lob wedge or a sand wedge. So I think it's going to go in or six foot past. Or oh, short, you absolute plonker. <laughs> God, Rick. It's bang on line as well. 
I shouldn't be disappointed with the power on that hole, but I really, really am. Tough par three to be fair. So as we approach the final hole at 2010 course, a couple of things. First off, I've enjoyed this golf course, championship golf course, playing off the pretty much the backs today. In tough conditions, it's not been easy. I'm currently eight over, par five to come up. Now Jack is currently one over. I was trying to work out like what's the difference between me and Jack today? I mean Barry's got a bit luckier than me. Granted, <laughs> um, and he's a much better golfer than me. And I'm sure you'd admit today, you've not played your best golf, but you're so much closer to par than what I am. That's what's been pretty impressive about your game today. Like you're just programmed to like score. Yeah, yeah. Where I'm not, I'm like, yeah. I'm playing once a week in these videos and I'm not programmed to like make, like there's so many times you've been out of position, but made a great par. Yeah. What do you think I've done well today? The long game's been very good. Yeah. Very good, yeah. What have I done bad? The long beans been very good. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's being honest. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash like. Go and check out Jack on his Instagram. Final hole, par five. Let's finish with a bloody birdie or two. Go. Go! Spin hard. Oh, go in! Oh! Shot of the day. <laughs> Jack for birdie on the 18th. Get some birdie sauce on that. If I'm not going to have it, at least you should. <laughs> but. I have got a chance to get some of my own. Come on. Oh, we've got some. Fill, fill the bloody fountain with the stuff, please. Fill it up with birdie sauce. Guys, thanks for watching. That's a seven over. I think I'm going to try a, an easier golf course next time, but that was a real test. We'll see you next time.